On this degree, I'm going to discuss Igbo um, culture and history a little bit, and I'm going to use qub.ac.uk as a um, reference or source, whatever you want to call it in this video, and because I'm going to read a, a clip from the website, and I'm going to discuss how this symbol's taken, uh, come into play. Anyway. The Igbo are profoundly religious people who believe in a benevolent creator, usually known as Chuku, who created the visible universe, Uwa. Opposing this force for good is Agbara, meaning spirit of supernatural being. In some situations, people are referred to as Agbara in describing an almost impossible feat performed by them. In a common phrase, the Igbo people will say, Biki Wu Agbara. This means the white man is spirit. This is usually an amazement at the scientific inventions of the white man. Oh, really? That, that's how you... Oh, I, I'm going to leave that one alone. Apart from the natural level of the universe, they are... They also believe that it exists on another level that of the spiritual forces that are Lucy. The Lucy are minor deities and are forces for blessing or destruction depending on the circumstances. They punish social offenses and those who unwittingly infringe their privileges. The role of the diviner is to interpret the wishes of the Alusi, and the role of the priest is to placate them with sacrifice. Either priest is chosen through the head hereditary lineage or he is chosen by a particular god for his service usually after passing through a number of mystical experiences each person also has a personalized providence which comes from chuku and returns to him at the time of death a chi this chi may be good or bad huh i wonder where the asians got it from there's a strong Igbo belief that the spirit of one's ancestors keep a constant watch over you this living show appreciation for the dead and pray to them for future well-being it is against tribal law to speak badly of a spirit those ancestors who live well died in socially approved ways and were given social socially correct burial titles and burial rights L live in one of the worlds of the dead which mirror the worlds of the living so anyway they go on to talk about the indici which is the returners and a few evil words at the end Allah igwe imo miri Umbatugu, Agu, Aha, Ndugu, Ife Joku, Ikoro, Iku, and Allah means the Earth Goddess, the Spirit of Fertility. Igu, excuse me, Igwe means the Sky God. Imo Miri means the Spirit of the River. Umbatugu means the Spirit of Wealth. Agu, a spirit envious of an other's wealth. Aha, and Duku, or Ife, Jeuku, the Yam spirit, Ikoro, the drum spirit, Ekwu, the health spirit, which is women's domestic beer. So, you see the chi, you see the cross. Uh, the cross. Speaking of the cross, right here you see Osiris's sideways cross. And what does it mean? It means speech. And what was the in the pyramids? Osiris is the Lord of the Dead, the speech of the dead. On that note, I'm gonna end this video because it's nighttime, and yeah. Don't make a video in your room at night time by yourself when you're talking about symbols of the dead and speech of the dead, especially when you've been studying people who are dead for a long time. Don't do it. Don't try this at home. Trust me, you don't want to do it. I don't care if you think you're the toughest man alive. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Okay. I had to get that across your motherfucking brain from one side to the other just get it through your mind get get across get it through get it all in that motherfucker yeah now the n s i b i d i the ancient writing the ebo eku ebo eku now understand it we are not the punk ass white man we do not need the inventions of the punk ass white man who did he build the inventions on you see how insulting they are oh these fucking savages they've been in this one fucking shithole and there's no evidence they came from anywhere else even though there's tons of evidence that they did there's written evidence there's uh etymology there's linguistic evidence and these motherfuckers they sit there like a bunch of scholarly assholes and defy the very essence and foundation of common sense these dumb fucking shit fucks these moron scum ass motherfuckers. 
these putrid fucks. Let me tell you how it is, cuz. Let me tell you how it is. Cuz they're bad men. Every time. Cuz they're bad men. That's how it is. Okay? There is no if or but. The reason why I'm going off and, you know what I'm saying, I'm going off on a tangent right now is because they are scum. Okay? They stole the signs. They didn't just steal from Africa, my Africa. They stole it from Epo. And you do not fuck with Epo. You understand me? You sniveling fuck. And Cockerfeller, I know you're watching this, you motherfucker. You better quit fucking with my people. Rothschild, you bitch. The Mossad, you false flag fucks. CIA, you motherfuckers. Iran, you terrorist sniveling Hezbollah fuck. All you motherfuckers. Don't fuck with Ebo. Don't do it. I will tear you a new one. Don't do it. Don't even think about do the fuck you thinking, boy. I won't. I ain't playing with you. You leave my people alone, or we're gonna have a serious fucking problem. You quit causing conspiracy and fucking terrorism and collusion and infiltration, co-option. You quit fucking with my people. It's like the Coptics who co-opt the movement of Egypt. Quit fucking with my people. We started it. You didn't. I'll catch a motherfucking fade over that shit anytime. I'll catch a fade with King Kong. Send ten Goliaths. And I'll take them all with one stone and one slingshot. Because it came from Africa. Because Abraham was in Africa. Because Jacob was in Africa. Egypt. Because Joseph, Moses, Aaron, Miriam. Africa, 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 Africa. Sarai, Isaac. Africa, 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 Africa. Even the Ishmaelites, they went to trade with Africa, Africa, Africa in the Bible. Do you understand what I am telling you? Do you understand that the knowledge comes from the temples? And even Alexander the Great mimicked the temples of the ancient Egyptians at the temple of Bahariha, Oasis. Right there on that motherfucker. Mimicking the temples like Abu Simbel. Mimicking the Nubian style. You scum. My people come from Egypt like everyone else. The only difference is we were there first and we kept the culture the longest. You scum. And we were the good guys. You were the devils. Don't you fuck with my history, you motherfucker. Get it right. Ebo, motherfucker. Ebo, hero. Devil, white man. Caveman. Captain Cave, mountain man. You understand? What would a coward do when the wrath of Ra and God is chasing him? He would go up a fucking mountain and dig in a fucking cave. Just like the Native Americans, they kept going. They left Africa like, you know what I'm saying, all cool, just chilling. They saw the white man, they said, oh. see, they were with the Indians for a while, chilling. They said, cool. They go up to Russia, they, you know, they pass through all the way through the Alaska, and they come to America, right? But they saw the white man was a devil. And they saw the black man was in trouble. So the black man, the Indian, the Native American, and the Asian all said, look, you go that way, you go that way, I'll go this way, you go that way. Let's try to avoid this white man. We'll take the knowledge with us. And a few white guys were there with him. Now, this is the question. Those white guys were there who were there with him. Did they sell the fuck out like scum? Or are they going to admit that the knowledge comes from Africa? Some black Africans who might have had some Asian and um, Indian, Asian Indian genes with in them as well. Central Asian, Indian, Middle Eastern, a little bit of that in them as well, but they were African. It's like me, look, I, I probably have some Asian fucking other shit in me as well. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a black man. You understand? So quit fucking with me. Pyramid black man. Chukwameka black man. Obama black man. Ancient Egyptian Kemetan black man. Wasetan black man. Egyptian, Ethiopian, Eritrean, Somalian, Black, black, black.
Black Sudanese black man, end of story. 